Good morning. I've got little one taking a nap over here behind me, so don't mind me, but it has been a few days now since we brought our puppy home. It's been about four days. I vlogged the whole first day, but since then, we really have gotten into the swing of things. I feel like I'm starting to learn her and her schedule and her personality, and I have never owned a dog before, so it's been very like a big learning curve, I will say. I have been fully reliant on these. I found like a few specific like trainers on YouTube that I've been following to a T. I've got her on a schedule. I feel like a new mom all over again, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how our day goes down now that we have done this for a few days, starting with her sleep schedule. Hi, you waking up? She's like, no, not waking up. You're just waking me up. She is just the sweetest little sweetheart and I have absolutely fallen in love with her. The very, very first night that we brought her home was rough, but not any like more rough than I was expecting. I think I was up five-ish times with her in the middle of the night that night. The next day was significantly better. She woke up twice. Well, twice total, but really just like once in the middle of the night. It was so much smoother. Here's the thing that I'm learning. They say that puppies need anywhere between 16 to 20 hours hours of sleep per day. That's a lot. There's only 24 hours in a day. <laughs> Hence the reason she's taking a nap right now that I'm kind of disrupting. I'm so sorry. The third night with her was a little harder than the second. She just had like a really, really nice second night. She woke up like four times in the middle of the night. And then last night it was better again. She only woke up one time in the middle of the night and then one more like towards the early morning. But she slept from 12 to 5 a.m. Which they say, if you don't know, if you're a new puppy owner like me or if you've never owned a puppy, they say that puppies can only hold their bladder for as many many hours as they are months old. But then something else I saw said that you can add two hours onto that. So anyway, she since she's eight weeks old, well actually she's nine weeks now. She's nine weeks old, she passed nine weeks old. She is two months old, she, so she should be able to hold her bladder between like two and four hours. And, and twice now, during the middle of the night, she's been able to hold it actually longer. Then I read something else too that said though, if you have a larger breed that they can typically hold their bladder more than smaller breeds. So as you can see, I'm only learning based off of Google right now, no life experience here. But I have learned about her that she can hold her bladder for at max five hours in the middle of the night, which is so good. Cause I am not kidding when I say I set my alarm for the first night for every two hours to get up with her. So like I really was preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. And I legitimately feel like I got the best. Considering she is a standard golden doodle, she's gonna be big. So you may have noticed, but a lot of like puppy, eight week old puppies, I watched a lot of videos. So like on YouTube, even on TikTok of just like what people do with their eight week old puppies, they're itty bitty. They're like these little things, not her. She's gonna be a very, not very large dog, but she's like a larger breed. A golden doodle is a golden retriever mixed with a poodle. Poodles, I know, when I think poodle, I think they're small, but standard poodles are actually not small. They're actually big dogs. Hence the reason her crate is so big. This crate is supposed to last her through adulthood. So eventually she's gonna be really, really big. Right now she's kind of small in here, but we do have this puppy divider in here that's meant for it. So it's not, it, it does look big on the outside, but they say, and by they, I mean, Google, they say you want the crate to be just big enough for them to be able to turn around in it. And that's pretty much what we have here because this divider is so far up and it seems to be perfect for her. She loves going in her crate, which a lot of the videos I watch, seems like a lot of dogs and puppies have issues like with crate training and like wanting to go in their crate. So far, four days in, she has no problem going in her crate. She loves to sleep in her crate. She's obviously outside of it right now. Typically how it goes is she sleeps in it all night long. And then in the morning she wakes up, feed her three times a day at 7.30, 1.30, and then 7.30 p.m. So she wakes up around seven, we take her outside to go potty, we feed her her breakfast, and then she just plays hard until the kids go to school around eight o'clock. Once eight o'clock rolls around, she comes right here to this spot and she naps for pretty much the rest of the morning. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, we've got this little playpen set up for her, which has worked out super well. She actually was sleeping in her toy box this morning as well. She kind of just like roams here in this area. I've noticed she loves blankets. Inside her crate when she's sleeping, she gets nothing for her safety because puppies are known to chew things up and have to go to the hospital for that. So I am surviving, guys. I didn't know if I would make it through it. I can't believe I'm a dog mom. I can't believe I'm a dog mom. It's so weird, but I love this girl like my child. I finally get it. That being said, we have been doing a lot. By we, I mostly mean me. <laughs> I've been doing a I'm lot so of, of 
work with her. I set like specific times to train her and she is so smart. She's already learned so many commands in the last four days. Dogs thrive off of working for you so they want to learn these things. All the videos that I watch say start training your puppy immediately. That's how you're able to like really get the most of, um, you know, when they're young, they're so impressionable. So as soon as she wakes up from her nap, I'm gonna show you some of the commands that we've been working on with her. They're mostly just like useful commands right now. We're gonna get to the fun party tricks later. She does like one fun party trick, but the kids are loving it, which they are at school right now. So it really works out. Like the schedule is perfect with her right now. Once the kids get home from school, that, that's usually like the most of her waking hours and they just come home and they're so excited to see their puppy. They run outside with her. Like it's just been a dream, a dream. Good morning. All right, we've got your treats. You wanna go potty outside? Come on. Yes, good girl. <laughs> all right, so she's been sleeping for quite some time. Napping on and off all morning. Do you wanna do some tricks? You wanna do some tricks? Let's show them what you've been learning. I've been feeding her these pup trained dog treats. They're freeze-dried beef liver. I've been trying to check the ingredients of these things, but and this one only has three ingredients, which is good. Oh, you found your stick. What? She loves stick. Okay, come here, honey. Sit. Yes. Oh, she's getting ahead of herself. All right. How about shake? Yes. Good girl. And then this is one of the first ones that I taught her, but it's touch. Yes, good girl. And the touch command, it's just like one of the first from all the dog training videos I was watching. It's one of the first ones that is very helpful to teach your puppies. All right, can we do it again? And she is just super smart. It seems like anytime I teach her something, if I do it like three or four times with her, she pretty much gets it right away. So, all right, again, honey touch. Yes, good girl. Okay, this is our new one, remember? Honey sit, heel. Yes, good girl. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Oh my goodness, you're so smart. She also loves her belly rub, don't you? You wanna rub your belly? Right. Oh, you want more treats? Oh, she starts doing <laughs> the tricks that I taught her when she wants more treats. You wanna do more? Okay, you're such a good girl. I'll tell you what though, having a puppy has really made me, I've never been outside as much as I've been having a puppy and I love it because, where'd she go? Oh, <laughs> you're right by my side. I love it because I'm so motivated to do things in our backyard. Like we have a lot of dying plants, which is winter right now, so that's to be expected. But I really wanna clean up the weeds out here. Like I just, I have so many projects I wanna do outside and she keeps me motivated. She always finds sticks and pine needles and we have so many of them from our trees. Is that okay to let her have? I don't know, I'm so like cautious with everything <laughs> she just goes and finds another one as for potty training she has pretty much got it down 100% took her less than 24 hours she immediately understood it from the second that we brought her home she had a few accidents very few but I genuinely believe that it was our fault like she was giving us signs we just were not understanding what those signs were yet I don't think you should be eating that just keep trying to distract her but all of this I want to rip this all out and then replant maybe not rip it all up but like replant some of the flowers over here unless she's gonna eat them. She also knows her name. And then stay is one that we're working on right now also, which that one's harder to teach for me for some reason. Don't you think about it. We're questioning if she's able to fit through this fence. She did get her head through one time. As of now, she's not allowed out here unsupervised, but we're considering putting chicken wire down here, even though she's going to be a really big dog, so it's not going to be a problem for long. But here she goes. Yeah, we're going to need some chicken wire. I don't want to risk it. Her body might fit, but I mean, I guess it would only fit for another like two weeks probably because she's going to grow fast. Oh, Oh, Nova. Oh, come here, it's okay. She's also terrified of the cat. Terrified of them. There was one interaction. See, look, she's backing away from Nova. The cats will follow me into the backyard when I come out here. Oh, it's okay, honey. I don't think she realizes that she's twice the size of these cats. She had one interaction with Mowgli that terrified her. He was outside and he was wanting to come inside and she was about to go outside and I opened the door and they came face to face and Mowgli is just like not a fan of it. I think I've talked about this before. He's not a fan of anything that's not him him or his people. So he hissed at her when he was coming in and it absolutely terrified her. So she's scared of the cat. <laughs> but I will say her and Nova are getting pretty close. Like they will sit close to each other and I actually caught them smelling each other one time. Oh, she's getting brave. She's getting brave. She's your friend. They're actually only two months apart. So they're literally gonna grow up together. Oh, it's okay. Oh, 
Do <laughs> I've noticed she always stays really close by me too anytime I walk anywhere. On to lunchtime here. I got some fun feeders for her. I'm having so much fun feeding her. Like I don't know why. I just I'm really I'm really embracing this whole dog mom look. But these little fun feeders are designed to help dogs like slow down their eating, especially if you have like particularly smart breeds or just like really fast eating breeds. Anyway, I, there's a lot of benefits to them. So she has like a normal bowl and then she has like her slightly easier bowl to eat out of. We're still doing half of the food they were giving her before and then now half of the food that I am feeding her. Oh, I hear you. You're hungry. Good girl. <laughs> And she definitely has this one figured out, so I'm gonna have to get some other fun ones, but. Hi! Honey, look who's home! Oh! I have a feeling she's gonna like water. She's like, how do I get to you? How do I get to you? Oh! Good girl not jumping. <gasps> Honey? Honey? No! Okay, yep, we need chicken wire. No! It happened. I just said that too. I freaking knew it. Okay, chicken wire. Let's go get some right now. As soon as she's a half pound heavier, she won't fit through that, but. You watched a movie? You watched a movie? Yeah. At school? Yeah. Lucky. What'd you watch? What it was. Which one? 101 Dalmatians. Oh my. 101 a day of school. Oh my gosh. And that's so exciting because the movie's all about what? Puppies! <laughs> and we have a puppy! Oh my gosh, how exciting. I, Addie, that was my favorite movie when I was a little girl. Do you know that? Luckily, the way our property is, it goes all the way that way, all the way that way, all the way that way, and all the way that way. So it's not like we have a road right here or anything, but I still do not want to risk it. I think it might even like, I mean, we don't have like a critter problem with anything coming in here, but still, it might help with, I don't know. I think we need the chicken wire. On another note, this little guy, not so little guy, <laughs> that's a little guy, injured his knee at soccer this well okay rewind kaisen has like a knee issue ah, sorry for the last like few months and we discovered what it's called there's a name for it it's called osgood schlatter Osgoodladder. yeah i don't know something like that but... i was just guessing from whatever you said <laughs> apparently it's very common in young athletic boys but he has one knee that causes him issues and we got this knee brace that works so well like he said you said when you wear it it goes away right pretty much yeah i guess so at practice this week he what happened someone kicked it on tuesday someone kicked it and fell on it on accident so that's why but it's also been hurting for a long time i'm scared to touch it so obviously things happen in sports, but the reason this is such a big deal is because- I have a very big game on Sunday. His team is in the running to win the state cup now. Is that the right way to say that? Yeah. They are down to 16 v 16, which is a big, how many teams started, do you know? 16 versus 16. I don't know, how does it you explain that? I don't it's know. round of 16. So there's pretty much four rounds left, right? Yeah. So if we win this game on Sunday, we'll, I don't know what the next round is. It's 8v8, or not v8, but it's round of eight. There's 16 teams left right now mm -hmm. on Sunday. Then there'll be eight teams left, and then they'll cut down to half, so then there'll be four. Then the last, then it'll get cut down to half, and it'll be the last two teams going against each other. <sighs> so, so far. They have such a big center forward, and they're telling me to guard him. I have to guard this really big person. Yeah, they're really relying on you. He's huge, he's taller than you. Really? So everyone, Kyson's coach, the other parents on his team, everyone is really concerned about Kyson this week and they're all texting me all these things like, do Epsom salt, roll it out, stretch it, ibuprofen, like they really are relying on Kyson. Kyson is a huge part of their team. I mean, every kid is a huge part of their team, but they're really relying on Kyson. So he needs to be at a full 100% this weekend, so we're going to baby the crap out of his knee. We're gonna, we've got this roller. And I'm gonna be eating ice cream and relaxing my head. <laughs> I don't know about ice cream, relaxing, yes, but well, tomorrow, he is banned tomorrow, from doing anything. So uh, tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow can I just like stay in my room? Epsom salt tonight. Kaisen K and yeah. then ice it. We're also gonna be icing it. Yeah, we have our own personal physical therapist here. Her name is Mimi. She literally knows. <laughs> she knows all things exercise. There you go, perfect. It, that's good, you want it to hurt a little bit. I can't even get my knee. That hurt my knee so The kids have this project at school that's due. They have to make a three course meal for us. Landon's doing his today. He had to put this out. He had to write down his appetizer, his main course, and his dessert, which is his dessert, is in the freezer already. What are you making? 
What is Oreo it? Truffles. Oreo truffles. Oreo truffles. <laughs> but yeah, here's Kyson and Landon's dessert. Er, Ka oh my God. Kyson, Kyson and Kaden's dessert as well. Kaden made brownies, Kyson made cookies. So we just have so so much. Okay, so you smush it down. Okay. Oh, oh my god, this is amazing. Landon, that is so yummy. That was my first time ever having Spam, I think it's called Spam mus Musubi. Call me crazy. It is so good though, which you guys, I, mini update, I've, I've been staying away from meat for the last like three-ish years and just recently, I've kind of gone off track with it being totally honest with you guys i've been kind of eating meat here and there again like i don't know if i'm completely done with it or not but i still prefer vegetarian food i don't know how i feel about it i just i'm not even kidding you guys i gained so much weight when i became vegetarian and i think it's because i was making poor substitutions for my meat intake like i would do a lot of the pastas and the carbs i don't think i'll ever do full like beef again just because i have a lot of heart disease in my family but it honestly started in hong kong for me we had such a great time but there was almost no meat substitutions there and it's not that there were none it's just that all of the meat substitutions were mushroom and mushroom and me do not get along we just I just not a mushroom lover it is like one of the my top hated foods that and fish like all fish I don't do so while I was in Hong Kong I had my first taste of meat in a long time and ever since then I've just kind of unraveled I'm gonna start getting honey's spot ready for bed I read to cover this crate and it seriously changes everything also sound machine absolutely so yes, as soon as she hears this, she kind of already knows. And I've got her puppy divider in there. One huge difference with the dog being here is I go to bed so early now. Who am I? I own a dog and I go to bed early. Once I put my dog to bed, all I want to do is go to sleep, probably because she keeps me up all night. As soon as she's in bed, I'm done. Like, that's it for me. I actually love it. I'm in my be early bedtime era, mid-30s, almost 32. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.